Hello, my name is Abenezer Wadena, and today I will be presenting TPU Point, Automatically Characterizing Hardware Accelerated Data Center Machine Learning Program Behavior. This work presents a tool chain to help analyze and optimize the performance of cloud TPU accelerated machine learning workloads. The rise of machine learning applications has created a growing demand on cloud infrastructure. As popular machine learning applications rely on matrix multiplication, a number of accelerators has risen to address this new problem face. This includes Microsoft's Neural Processing Unit from Project Brainwave, both NVIDIA's original GPGPUs and Tensor Cores inside NVIDIA's Volta GPU, and Google's Tensor Processing Unit or TPUs version 2 and 3 seen here. Cloud TPUs are available to the public and have shown considerable insight as to the ability of neural network accelerators. For this project, we chose to investigate TPUs for their availability and capability to provide insight to future accelerator architectures and new bottlenecks. Yet few profiling tools are currently available for this platform. Google's TPU Cloud platform consists of three major components, the end user's virtual machine or container, TPU host machine with TPU accelerator, and Google Cloud's persistent storage. Currently, the only established frameworks available to utilize TPUs is through TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a machine learning framework making heavy use of protocol buffers and Google's remote procedural calls, making it an ideal candidate for cloud and distributed machine learning training. Not much of TPU's implementation is known to the public. However, there are registered API calls and serviceable remote procedural calls are open and available inside TensorFlow and the cloud platform. One implementation is Google Cloud's command line tool, Cloud TPU Profiler. Through this interface, we are able to record TPU and host operations into a profile record. However, Cloud TPU Profiler does not allow the user to record the entirety of a program's execution and offers limited insight to only a small section of runtime. To fill this need, we create a TPU point. Now that we have discussed the background, I will go into TPU Point and its profiling and analysis. Lastly, I will discuss TPU Point and its optimizations, followed with concluding remarks. Here we present TPU Point. TPU Point is created to facilitate the process of developing machine learning efficient applications on a single TPU based cloud platform. The tool is geared towards performance tuning and understanding the performance bottleneck of new TPU based applications. TPU Point does this through automatically classifying repetitive patterns of execution into phases and identifies the most time critical operation in each phase to provide the end user information for finer grain optimizations. TPU Point first creates a profile request. TPU Point will then receive a response with data payload containing what operations occurred. TPU Point then stores the information on cloud storage for further analysis. The profiling information is returned in the form of a JSON package. Here we have an example of training using TensorFlow's TPU Estimator API in Python. TPU Estimator API is first initialized, then it is executed for model training. With a few lines, TPU Point can be implemented within the same code. This is done by first importing the TPU Point class, then simply by wrapping the point of training with a non-blocking start call and a blocking stop call, capturing the entire execution of TPU training within the code, a feature unavailable in Google Cloud's Capture TPU Profiler command line tool at the time of this research. Here we can see an example of a single profile record recorded from TPU point. All operations and their durations are recorded over a period of time. From this profile, we are able to separate TPU and host operations. We are also able to identify training steps and host data preparation and transfers. We can see here that TPU training steps are asynchronously broken by host processing and preparation of data. The profile record helps provide a very fine grained overview to what operations have occurred and for what duration. TPU point will summarize the entirety of an application's execution. This could potentially result in a large number of profile records depending on the length of the application's execution. For this, TPU point analyzer implements the summarization of profile records into phases as seen here. 
TP-Point does this by utilizing three summarization algorithms, k-means, dbscan, and online linear scan. dbscan and k-means form clusters. Cluster centroids are considered a larger phase of execution that has occurred and are utilized for analysis. Online linear scan algorithm will compare step operations during execution as a measure of similarity. K-means and dbscan occur post-recording all profile records, while online linear scan occurs during execution. Now that we have reviewed TPU Point's architecture and profiling capabilities, I will go into its analysis, optimizations, and concluding remarks. Our experiment setup consists of the N1 HiMem 16 virtual machine, containing 16 CPUs, either a TPU v2 or TPU v3 instance, in both local and cloud storage, shown on the left. On the right, we select a variety of machine learning workloads implemented with TensorFlow. We also use multiple data sets within a single workload as to see the effects of different input sizes to the same model. We compare our online linear scan implementation using dbscan and k-means for comparison. For dbscan, we plot the ratio of noisy to total samples, ranging the minimum required number of samples from 5 to 180 in steps of 25. We find that a plateau begins to form between 30 to 80 minimum samples for dbscan. For k-means, we plot the sum of square distances for each centroid, ranging the number of centroids from 1 to 15. We find that for k-means, a plateau begins to form after 5k clusters. For online linear scan, we plot the number of phases identified with a similarity threshold ranging from 0 to 100. We find that there is an exponential increase in the number of phases found for similarity thresholds of 70% or higher. We discover here that most TPU workloads can be summarized into a limited number of phases. Another metric to judge phase selection is the coverage of execution time. Using the previous observations, we accumulated the total execution time of the three longest phases for each summarization method. Here we find that the total execution time is dominated by the top three phases for each summarization algorithm and online linear scan is comparable to either dbscan or k-means. Using online linear scan, we measure both the idle time and matrix multiplication unit utilization of each of the workloads at 70% similarity. We note several observations from our analysis, that performance can change as input data set changes even within the same model and the same parameters. This can be seen both in DCGAN and BERT varying in performance across multiple datasets. However, idle time remains close to 50% and matrix multiplication unit utilization is below 35%. For a more in-depth analysis of TPU bottlenecks, we assess the top five operations in the top three phases of each workload. Utilization in all three summarization methods available we find that the most common operations are fusion, reshape, and infeed type operations. Fusion is a TensorFlow XLA compiler operation that combines different compute intensive tasks to reduce data transfer between task executions. Reshape and infeed can be considered non-computational operations. These operations occur are only involved in the alteration or transfer of data rather than the computational operations. These non-computational operations will continue to grow as accelerators reduce computational tasks. This can lead us to the notion that improving TPU data preparation and TPU data exchange efficiency on the host computer is key to improving TPU utilization and TPU workload performance. From our findings, we make six key observations. Most TPU workloads can be summarized into a limited number of phases the three longest phases covers most of the execution time for TPU workloads. Current TPU workloads incur a significant amount of overhead from data preparation and data exchange. Improving TPU data preparation and TPU data exchange efficiency on the host computer is key to improving TPU utilization and TPU workload performance. The significance of non-computational overhead increases as computational throughput improves and the performance bottleneck can change as the input data set changes, even within the same model. 
With the observations noted from TPU Point Analyzer, we developed TPU Point Optimizer. TPU Point Optimizer provides an online performance tuning feature that adjusts the performance of TPU workloads without requiring the program to finish a complete execution. TPU Point Optimizer does this in four parts. First, it analyzes adjustable parameters within the code, such as buffer size and thread count. At first, TPU Point Optimizer will run default parameters. When the program begins to display stress on operations we identified within TPU Point Analyzer, TPU Point Optimizer will attempt to fine-tune adjustable parameters in order to reduce stress. TPU Point Optimizer will also try to avoid adjusting parameters if the program is performing adequately or finishes execution quickly. When we applied TPU Point Optimizer to our naive workloads that originally had execution times of less than 20 minutes, notably BERT and DC GAN models, the workloads show no noticeable change in speed compared to their original performance. In contrast, when we apply TPU Point Optimizer to our naive workloads that originally took more than 20 minutes, QANet and RetinaNet, we did see improvements in speed. This could be attributed to the fact that workloads with longer execution times involve larger and more complex datasets and deeper implementations relative to workloads with shorter execution times. This allows them to better display any improvements exploited by TPU Point Optimizer. In conclusion, I present TPU Point, a toolchain to analyze and optimize TPU accelerated machine learning workloads, novel to our knowledge in its ability to profile the entire execution of TPU accelerated workloads. We determined that TPU accelerated workloads are underutilizing TPU resources and TPU Point's ability to provide a 1.2 times speed up on models with long execution times. Thank you for listening to my talk. I would like to thank the anonymous reviewers, everyone at the University of California Riverside, NSF, and the TensorFlow Research Cloud. If you want to see more details about this work, please read our full paper or visit our website. This project is publicly available on the GitHub link below. Thank you very much.